Hello, I was recently asked how to achieve this stroke increment path effect, so today I thought we'll talk about that. So first of all, let's color the background layer a bit. As you can see, it was some kind of uh, red-yellow background we had before. So let's just colorize that, whoops, like that. And then create, uh, get a shape that you want. You have to get the shape you want in a path because we're going to increment uh, that path and pixels can't be incremented or enlarged as you should know by now. So get a path. I will do it with this fish and we'll see, start to see why it's hard. So I will create this fish and fill it with nothing but stroke it with two <coughs> okay, so the problem is if you duplicate that layer and enlarge it, whoops, enlarge it with let's say 10% like this, and if you do that a couple of times as I'm doing now, what I'm doing is Control J to duplicate the layer, and then I'm pressing Edit transform again scale again so that's just shift control T and if you do this it will remember what you did last time and then scale or rotate or skew or per perspective just as you did before so it remembers that I increased the side with with 10% okay see here is the problem you will see that we kind of achieved the effect but not really because um, the size between each stroke is growing because we are incrementing in percent and the size that we are adding percentages to keeps getting bigger and bigger and the result is the width between each stroke is growing and we don't want that as we can see each single increment was the same size so let's see how we can fix that let me just undo everything or maybe just delete it that's quicker <clears throat> and I'll just align that in the center okay it is so what we're going to do is instead oh and let me just uh, have this disclaimer um, I'm pretty sure it could be done a lot easier in Illustrator and as far as I know there aren't any other methods of doing this if you know one please let me know but I don't think there currently is so yes this might be easier in Illustrator but for now we're just doing it in Photoshop because Illustrator probably has some kind of step effect so what we're going to do is pressing Control C, and then we're going to tell it we want the width in pixels instead. So I think this is about three pixels, maybe a little more, like 400 pixels. <clears throat> and we'll press OK. So now if you press Control C, you'll see that it's showing us the width in pixels and not percent. So now we can start duplicating Control J, pressing Control C. And then we will manually add, I think I'll add 20 pixels each time and we'll have to click the maintain aspect ratio. So it will add the same percent, uh, the same add each time. So now comes the boring part. We just keep doing this <coughs> until you have a lot of strokes. Now what I would really like in Photoshop, and if you see Adobe, please tell them. It will, should be a, you should be able to tell okay 440 pixels at 20 pixels why is this not possible this should be possible so I will uh, fast forward this video and you can add whatever you want um, of course if your image is bigger you will have to add more than just 20 pixels or maybe even uh, add a thicker stroke instead of just my stroke of two. So let me just fast forward and we'll see what we get. <clears throat> okay, so there we are. It took 30 layers and it's... and what a process. Um, hopefully you don't have to do this hopefully this is not an effect you'll have to do all day long because this is certainly uh, 
messy to do, I would say. So the last thing is to add the text, as you can see, Frank Rose and some text of that fell over the, the uh, spline. Oh, sorry, path. So take a path, duplicate that, I just call it text path, and then increment it by, I think, 20%. Ah, maybe 10% and then add text on it do you know why the fish goes blop 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 all right and if your text aren't as you want it to be um, click the uh, the path selection tool and try to look out for some point on the spline. Oh, and here it is. And with, with this point of your spline, you can reverse the text, uh, move it around. So as you see, I just reversed it. So it now it's now inward, the other side of the stroke. Or you can just move it around. And this is a bit messy for me. I'm not really great with this tool. <coughs> All right, now hide the text path and we are finished. So I hope you found this useful. Let me know what you think. Thank you.